Hey, what's up, geeks, and welcome back to IGB. Apple recently announced their new iPads in their Let Loose event, but the showstopper was iPad Pro, which had some amazing improvements in terms of display. We all know that the iPad Pro comes with OLED display, but there is one more display tech which got tagged along, and that is Nano Texture Display Glass. What it actually means? Do you require it? We're gonna find out in today's video. So make sure you watch this video till the end. Before we start the video, I have a trivial question for you and that is iPad Pro is not the first device to come with nano textured display glass. Which was the first one? If you know, do let me know in the comments section. If you don't, then don't worry because I'm going to tell you the answer in the end of this video. First of all, let's understand what exactly nano textured display glass is. Well, it's an Apple solution to reduce glare from your screen. You know how annoying it is when you're trying to work and all you can see on your screen is your reflection or the lights behind you. Well, nano textured glass aims to fix that without downside of traditional matte finish which can make the display look washed out or frosted. Unlike matte screens that uses a coating, nano texture glass is etched at the microscopic level. These patterns scatter the light rays hitting the display reducing the glare and keeping colors vibrant and display sharp. Our matte displays will affect the picture quality but Apple took the smarter way and engraved etched minor patterns, very small microscopic patterns in the display itself and it is regardless to say that this display will cost you more compared to the normal generalized display. So in iPad's Pro scenario, it will cost you $100 more but only for 1TB and up variant of iPad Pro. You cannot opt for this nano textured glass for iPad Pro 256GB model and 512GB model. You need to have 1TB and up variant. So now the question arises, do you need nano textured glass? Whether you need it or not, it all depends on how much glare you face while using that device. If you work in a very lit room or just beside the window, then nano textured glass can be a game changer for you. So no more squinting or repositioning yourself just to see the screen clearly, all you need to do is just choose nano textured glass and you'll be good to go. And if you don't face any problem regarding glare on your device while using it, you can always save some bucks and just go with the normal display that is just fine as well. But there are some downsides regarding nano textured display and let me just tell you that. Nano textured glass can make the display feel a bit rough due to those edged patterns. And one more thing, that these edge patterns will accumulate dust and grease very easily and they will be very stubborn to remove hence you need to take extra care of your display and you know what apple provides that apple cloth cleaning cloth just to wipe out these greases or dirt from your nano textured display glass so now let's conclude the video overall the nano textured glass is a very great option for all those people who are suffering from glare on their screens however it is important to weigh the pros and the cons before you make your buying decision and personally i would recommend if you work outside as in uh, directly under the sun then this display tech can help you a lot and will save you from glare but if you work in a controlled environment as in there are no glares well, you can skip this display tech because I don't think it will be very useful. So let me answer that trivial question for you, which I asked you in the beginning of this video. And the answer is Pro Display XDR was the first Apple product to come with nano texture display glass. If you knew the answer, do let me know in the comment section. If you didn't, then make sure you like this video because I think I have increased your IQ, right? And if you are down there, then make sure you press the subscribe button as well as the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any amazing video like this. And on this note, this is me signing off and I will see you in the next one till then tada see ya bye bye